Hello, this is Connecting Africa and I'm Eleni Jokos. Homegrown African multinationals are beginning their march across the continent, stitching together the region and reversing the historic dominance of overseas firms in the process. One such titan is the Simba Group of companies founded by Ugandan entrepreneur Patrick Bitature. Starting out as Simba Telecom in 1998, Bitature's business grew to become the biggest distributor of MTN airtime in Uganda, selling in excess of $80 billion in 2010. The company has since grown to become an East African conglomerate with interests in power generation, real estate, agriculture and tourism, with subsidiaries in Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania. There's so much opportunity in Africa and there are so many gaps, but you've got to train your eye to see those gaps. My name is Patrick, Patrick Bidaturi. I'm the chairman of the Simba Group of Companies and I'm connecting Africa by building businesses. My journey started some 40 years ago when there was a shortage of goods in Uganda. And I had to look for the most basic commodity, a commodity as basic as sugar. And there was hardly any sugar in Uganda at the time. But I knew because I'd lived in Kenya where there was sugar. So I set off when I was only 14 to go to Kenya to just look for some sugar. That was the beginning of my entrepreneurial journey. It was risky, it was adventurous, it was daring. But when I delivered the sugar, not only was it rewarding, but I realized I could fulfill a need in the market. And it was so rewarding for me, so satisfying. Patrick Bitature's big break came when mobile technology kicked off in Africa. Bitature launched Simba Telecom, becoming a network distributor for South African telecoms company MTN in Uganda. MTN stuck on building an infrastructure and providing the airtime. We were at the front end and were providing customer service, helping connect customers. And since then, we just kept growing. Today in Uganda, we have over 22 million customers. In Kenya, about 30 million customers. In Tanzania, 30 million customers. All these people, the international world had not seen as an addressable market. They all wanted to be connected. And now their livelihoods have changed considerably. Bita Ture eyed up the real estate market next, building two hotels in Uganda's capital, Kampala. The government of Uganda was going to host the Commonwealth Heads of Government. And there was a call for hotels. There were not enough hotel rooms to accommodate such a big summit. So I put up a hotel called the Protea in Kololo. It was a 70-bedroom hotel. It cost about $12 million. Shortly after, I realized there was a big gap in the hotel industry, and tourism was growing very fast. So I started building another hotel. It was like learning a new degree, understanding the industry from the bottom up, everything on the value chain, dealing with customers, building the infrastructure, because I built the hotels from scratch. The Simba Group East Africa added Electromax to their portfolio in 2010, the first indigenous private sector power plant in Uganda. At the time Electromax was set up, there was no private indigenous company in Africa that was producing more than 20 megawatts. Financing it was hard because there was no history of local companies in the private sector doing that. It was a big risk, but eventually it's paid off. It's something that's worked, it delivered power for the country. That's been encouraging us to be pioneering, to keep pushing the envelope. Bita Ture looked to dairy farming and breeding Holstein Frisian cows, a Dutch breed known for their high milk production. Simba Farms currently operates two large dairy farms in Ibanda, Western Uganda. I looked around to see where the gaps were in the market. I was encouraged to look at agriculture because most of the people in Uganda is directly or indirectly involved in agriculture. Simba Farms is an interesting challenge. When I got into the area, I wanted to empower people with better cattle. First of all, in your local community and then beyond. And it meant looking at the genetics. It was all about breeding, having the right genetics here that will give you the right output. And then focusing on nutrition, teaching people how to feed the animals well maintain them. If a cow does not consume or drink about 50 to 60 liters of water, it will not give you 20 liters of milk. So I've set up a breeding farm with good genetics, good record keeping, to have pedigree cattle, and then you can have a healthy community with sustainable incomes. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, 
Bitatura is now looking to expand to healthcare. The private sector has got to step up, get involved in the management and operation of the public sector hospitals, build a lot more private sector hospitals, see that medical services come nearer to the people, they are affordable, they are better quality. We have got to build that capacity locally. It may not be the powerhouse of the world, but certainly we are the last frontier for big opportunities.